Hello, Hero. I'm Candace Latham, and I'm just going to walk you through what is in this finance workbook and growth planner. Because if you're watching this video, chances are you're kind of on the edge. You're like, mm, should I buy this? Should I not buy this? And let me tell you, you should. <laughs> okay, so this is just like the intro. You know, you have the table of contents and some quotes here. And then we just dive right into your roots and just diving deeper into your money story. And what do you really want in your life? Sometimes we're not sticking to our money plans because we don't really have a clear vision of what we even want to accomplish. So that's just a brief exercise on that. Um, it's actually an exercise I used to do when I did my um, with my clients when I did one-on-one -on -one money coaching. So I dive through with like a how to use it because you might be confused sometimes when you use a planner, you're not really sure like how it should work. So I actually did like a whole month of examples of how I would actually use this planner. And yes, again, you're also getting like definitions of like, what is a Roth IRA? Should you have one? What are the contribution limits? You know, how should you pay off your debt? It's a Roth IRA tree. You have your debt tracker here. If you're into tracking, you know, your sinking funds, that's also available for you. You have your savings tracker. You have your monthly calendar, which you can actually write in the months. So this actually comes blank. So if you were to get this planner in March, but you missed out on the other two months because it's already filled in, but now you don't have to worry about that because you just fill it in yourself. Um, then we got your habit tracker over here because, you know, your habits are important. Your habits are what's going to help you reach your goals. So you can just write in whatever habits you want. Again, this is just an example month. So I already filled in some things to give you an idea. But moving forward, when you have the 12 months, it's just going to be blank. So if you want to track your gym, you know, if you read for 30 minutes, just whatever you want to track over here. And then on the other side, we have your tracking your abundance. And then after that, we go into your top goals for the month, you know, your expense tracker. Then I break down how to create a monthly plan, a realistic one, because I know that's our thing for some of you guys. Like, Candace, I want to create a realistic spending plan. And then I have like what to do with the extra leftover money. Um, you have your monthly wins and you also have your net worth statement where you get to track your net worth every month. And then you also have your family money, your family money meeting where you just go over your wins, your opportunities for growth and your different curiosities. So there's a lot. And then finally, you have your monthly reflection where you're going over what worked well for you this month, what didn't, what are you grateful for, what are you going to do better next month? So that is how it works, guys. And then this is where you get into your, where it's blank, where you just fill in the own, your months for yourself. So yeah, then you have the month one, you know, again, it's a blank calendar for you to fill in whenever you do decide to purchase um, you can just start away right away in the month, whatever month that you're in. Finance, workbook, and growth planner. I broke it down for you guys so you got to see how it works. You know, there's a physical copy if you're interested in a physical copy, but there's also a digital version as well if you're interested in that. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you get to get a copy of this workbook for yourself.